Hello and welcome to today's um, tutorial video on how to make these very pretty butterflies from 25mm grow grain ribbon, 9mm grow grain ribbon, 3mm grow grain ribbon and a needle and thread. Okay, If you use a slightly um, smaller centre and cut the pieces smaller you'll get a smaller butterfly. So I'm going to show you today how to make the larger one and then you can just scale it down. So what I did was I cut two pieces. In this instance they were just over nine centimeters. You can make them a bit smaller. The reason why mine were nine centimeters is I wanted to have that side of the dot and that side of the dot the same. But um, it, it was that that dictated it. When I made the smaller one, all I did was come into the next size dot. And uh, as you can see, I got a much smaller butterfly. I then have a seven centimeter piece. I get that right, or oh, there, 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 or thereabouts. Seven centimeters for the antennae, and a another piece, four centimeters for the body. Um, I made sure that I um, heat sealed all of the edges because you don't want these to be made, and then you get them all fraying at the edges. So, and because this is a polyester ribbon. You can heat seal the edges basically it just melts. Right what we go on to next is to take a needle and thread and I'm going to use white because that's white and that's what I'll be finishing sorry that's white and that's what I'll be finishing up with. And all you need to do is fold your ribbon to find the center point which is there and sew it in this way and you're going to do exactly the same with both of these pieces of ribbon. Okay so that's what you want, you want um, along the central point you want a bigger stitch and it has to be there. Pull it through and then that round, excuse me while I do this, a few times and when you're there at the back then you just put a stitch in. And a knot to finish it off and then cut it. And go in with the biggest scissors on the planet and cut that off. And that's going to give you the first half of the body. Make sure that it's centered. You can fiddle a little bit at this point and you do exactly the same with the other one and then you're going to put them together this way. you're going to put them together so that wings are going up, wings are coming down. I'm going to be back in a second when I've done this. Right, once you've got these, you put them together in this way. People may well like to glue these. I'm still quite happy to uh, put two stitches in. I don't know what it is about me and glue, but we don't get on all that well. And then just put a stitch there, or a knot really on the stitch. Not hold that. Okay, now I'll give you another tip because what I sometimes found is that when I put the um, sorry when I put the um, other ribbon across the front, it tended to push the body out a little bit. So if you want to make sure that they stay like that, on the back you can just put a stitch there and there. And then go back over to the other side, taking your stitches carefully across. Don't just try and go straight across, just go carefully across. And come back to the centre. 
you'll find that then they will stay in place. Okay, it's a lot better. Right, now then. Take your 9mm grow grain. Put it there. Bring it around the front. Oops. Sometimes, if you've got a pin, it helps. Not there. Come around and pin it there. Okay, so we've got that at the front, and then just put two stitches in there, which I'll do, and we'll be back. Right, I've sewn that at the back now, and there it is. And here's what the front is going to look like. Now you've lost the last little piece of work here is to put this on the back. It doesn't matter which way around you go because basically it's the same on both sides. So if I put that there, making sure the antenna I put in the centre and put two stitches, two or three even stitches there to hold it in place. it over and there's your butterfly. Right now then so I bring some others out and we can have a whole family of butterflies uh, and if you have a look at the bag that I made uh, that I decorated with lace you'll see that I um, actually used three different size butterflies on the bag um, to um, almost make them look as if they're flying up the bag. So sometimes it's quite nice if you have different sizes. And this one, as I said, if you remind you, I used seven, six millimetre, sorry, six millimetre grow grain in the centre because otherwise it would have dominated the whole butterfly. But there's something nice, quick and easy. And because they're sewn in everything else, they're washable. And um, they're very nice for hair bows. So off you go. Everything that I've showed you is available from www.croftfairy.co.uk and in the banner, in the information underneath, I'll put you the links to um, take you to where you can buy the ribbon. Thanks very much. Bye.